Hey, hey, welcome to Ladybug Tarot. It's your girl, Lay, back with another pick a card video. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Ladybug Tarot. I'm giving away three free readings to my first 100 followers. Today's pick a card is all about what you can expect this summer 2020. How will your summer play out? Love, career, uh, friendships, family, whatever comes up, okay? So, whatever comes up in the cards. Keep in mind though that this is a general reading. What that means is everything won't resonate. Take what does, leave the rest. If you would like a personal reading tailored specifically to you, send me your question to tarotbylayla at gmail.com. Details and pricing are down below. Okay, so we have four lovely piles to choose from. We have this lovely uh, ambered colored stone. It says, it's time to take action, new moon and Aries. Shout out to the Aries crew. Pile two, this is beautiful green stone. And it says your commitment is being tested. And that is first quarter moon. Pile number three is, I think it's carnelian, not sure. But it says a time for healing balsamic moon. And then the last pile is this beautiful powder blue colored stone. And it says the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini so choose the piles or pile you are most drawn to you can go by the card or you can go by the the stone the card itself and then you can fast forward to your reading using the time stamps down below I'll see you at your reading bye bye hey hey pile number one you are in the right place you chose the it's time to take action new moon and aries pile of the amber colored stone so as this card suggests it's all about that action this summer this summer you'll be making moves taking action towards some goals you have in mind uh putting things into play not thinking about it not dreaming about it actually taking concrete practical steps towards your goals this summer so i see you doing a lot of things i see you being very busy this summer so let's look into the rest of your cards so you have learn from life nine of swords king of cups upright and in reverse the hermit we also have look for a sign Four of knives, breakups and makeups, it came reversed, chaos and conflict also upside down, and pond. So give me a second to take a look at your cards and see how the energies are playing out for you this summer. All right, pal one, so I'm saying in particular that there's some goal that you've been working towards some dream maybe uh but it's been more so you dreaming about it you thinking about it you planning for it and i sense a lot of fear on your part it's as if you're scared to take action but spirit is like you've learned all you need to learn you, you learn all you need to know you you have the right tools you you have the right amount of wisdom you've studied you've prepped for this and spirit is like this summer just go for it you can see like the little hand here is like come on out come on out and that spirit saying let's go like it's time to stop uh planning and thinking and daydreaming about it um because of course planning is good to an extent but you also have to back it up with action okay you have to walk the walk all right and do what you do and it seems as though you've been looking for a sign like you've been looking for some divine opportunity or you're looking for the right time or something for the universe to like part and like make way or for some I don't know for some opportunity to come to you it's like you wanted some sort of divine intervention to come in and tell you when to act and you've just been in this four of knives state like just um, I'm just chilling, you know, basically just resting, not doing much. And spirit is like, what are you doing? There is no sign. Just do it. Like there's, 
there's no need for you to wait any longer you don't need permission from the universe or from spirit to just do it it's just time to just take action and go for it and make it happen i'm seeing here though with the nine of swords you've been in your head you know anxious anxious worried 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 nervous 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 about this project or this dream or this goal um you've really been holding yourself back you've been scared you've been trying to convince yourself that oh it's just the not, not the right time or i need to wait for this to happen or i need to wait until i have this in order or i need to wait until i have this degree or something no 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 the time is now pile one and again that hermit is the hermit is about an introspective period uh it's good for learning about yourself going within seeking answers within um just becoming wiser and learning like learn from life is however it came out in reverse means your time is up you're doing too much of it you're you're turning towards isolation um and that is probably a result of fear now with the king of cups i do believe this is you whether you're a male or female this is just um the energy is present king of cups uh, he's a creative so i do feel like this may be a creative idea of some sort or some kind of something you create maybe if not like uh, artistically like a business or something um you could be a water sign pisces uh cancer scorpio for some reason i wanted to say libra so that could resonate with some of you it doesn't have to be but um this is you this is what you're doing this summer you are turning into this king of cups as in you are mastering your emotions you shouldn't uh what's the word you shouldn't suppress your emotions you shouldn't act like you don't have them but you shouldn't also fully let them take over and fully control you either uh, the king of cups is very in control of his emotions he he feels them he allows them to be um he doesn't ignore them but he doesn't let them master them he is you can see here he's in a meditative state like he's in control like he fully knows how to process his, his uh emotions and he doesn't let um fear cloud his judgment there's a difference between fear and intuition sometimes they it's hard to tell the difference and you will definitely this summer be learning the difference between fear and intuition um right now you've been confusing it for fear but over this summer you will just have a better sense of your emotional um realm like you'll be more emotionally balanced or that's like the major lesson this year um and you'll learn how to not let fear like hinder you anymore how not to let worries anxieties hinder you anymore because it's like you you know you have everything you need to be successful okay so you're going to be realizing that about yourself and things are unclear, Pile One. You have the pond. You can see this pond is black. You can't really see the bottom of it. You're like a muddy pond. You're like, oh, I don't know. You don't need to know. Like, you don't need to get a tarot reading on it. Um, You just need to try, okay? It's like you don't even want to try unless you're, like, guaranteed success. And that's not how success works. Successful people, like, of course, they are successful. But they've, they've won a number of times. But I can guarantee you they've they failed way more than they have succeeded and you just see the successes you don't see the failures so i just need you to have a little bit more confidence and faith in yourself and just know like intuitively as long as you're in tune with yourself and listen to your intuition and follow your heart follow your inner guidance you you can do no wrong um some of you with the boat some of you will be traveling this summer like overseas or like by boat like a what's it called a cruise or oh, although i don't recommend that with this pandemic going on but some of you will be traveling somewhere like definitely like overseas uh some of you like swimming or doing some activity near the water you, you could be a, a avid swimmer or you know um adventure sports sort of like parasailing or something like that i see that for some of you uh, scuba diving even so but that's a that just came up randomly like but with the pond yeah you don't just you're worried 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 about the future about the outcome just be present be grounded in the present okay and just take a chance just take some steps take some action okay stop waiting and looking for some sign now we do have some love messages 
breakups and makeups it is what it is your love life could be a little hot and cold this summer again if it does not resonate for you do not take it but i'm seeing hot and cold energy i'm seeing the tendency to wear a mask when it comes to love uh and wearing a mask you can see this this zebra is trying to wear giraffe spots trying to be something it's not that leads to even more chaos it's so your, your love life could be pretty uncertain or just pretty unstable this summer okay uh for some of you um, this could be an ex energy. This could be somebody you meet that's completely new, but you know, it could be flaky in some way. Um, however, uh, with this, what I love about this card, you know, that Japanese art, art form, they try to, you know, repair broken things and they put liquid gold in the cracks. You will be learning in love to value your flaws power one value you what makes you you well value where you've been your mistakes you've made and to just accept more of yourself and know that trying to please others and wear a mask and hide your true self only leads to shit <laughs> i was trying not to curse but it just doesn't work at all just chaos and conflict and i do feel like you're you are going to be getting your love life in order if it is a little unorderly or disorganized or just all over the place you will be finding that order and that balance throughout the summer um and just you know being being yourself okay be yourself you are beautiful i'm gonna pull another car a love card because i know you guys love love this is the love on the record oracle so let's see what other love message we have this card is calling me resentment okay so if you guys are if you guys are going back and forth back and forth you know don't don't uh, lean towards resentment don't harbor hard feelings you may feel wrong but you know what that holding on to that just makes you just makes you your energy just muddy and your energy just low and and down we don't we don't want that we also have missing you, separation, no contact, disconnected. That, you know, goes hand in hand with breakups, you know, back and forth. Oh, I miss you. Come back. We're separated. We're together. And then we have consideration, contemplating possibilities, maybe. So these are all song songs as well. So you can Google these songs, missing you, resentment. That one's by Beyonce and consideration. I think that's by Rihanna to get more of a clear idea. But yeah, things are a little bit uncertain um, for some of you or many of you in this pile. Um, but, you know, you, you got to focus on you, what you can do. And all you can do is be you and do you, boo. So that's your reading for this summer. It looks pretty good to me overall. Like, just go for it. Trust yourself. I will see you at the next uh, reading. Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments if it resonated with you. Until next time, bye-bye. Hey, hey, pile number two. You are in the right place. You chose the, your commitment is being tested first quarter moon pile. All right, so this car is about exactly what you think it is. You're probably going to experience some challenges when it comes to your goal. However, or multiple goals, if you have multiple goals this summer. However, spirit does not want you to get discouraged by these challenges spirit is just saying it's just testing you to see if you really want what you say you want do you really want to lose weight okay well i'm going to send you this plateau or do you really want to find love i'm going to send you on three bad dates in a row it's like you just can't give up no matter what because when spirit sees that okay you really want this like you're for serious then spirit will definitely will eventually give you what you want because it will see that you know your commitment could not be wavered it was true so let's get into some more insight into what that could possibly mean with our cards maybe all right so your cards include ground and center this came out upside down ground and center we also have seven of cups reversed um you have two of wands travel 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 this summer um queen of swords in reverse all right we also have okay that one's a cloud don't stop again don't stop getting no don't stop like towards your goals like don't give up okay don't let you know any challenges from the universe like get in your way like 
don't give up please don't give up um ego ooh i got a big ego and three of knives all right serendipity uh in reverse and then we have elixir in reverse all right give me a second i'll take a look at your cards and pull your energies together all right pal two let's get into your reading for some of you well yeah a lot of you have some serious grounding issues so your root chakra um crown chakra you know just all over the place so and that's fitting with the seven of cups seven of cups in reverse is like your head is in the clouds you're just daydreaming you uh, make decisions that are not really grounded in practical action or you're just in your own world just thrilling about daydreaming daydreaming um you have to do some serious grounding this summer uh so uh some some ways to do that is, you know meditation um you know you can go outside of nature feel the grass beneath your feet uh feel the you need to be here okay you are time traveling okay you're you're often not here in the present moment you're either in the past worrying about what happened in the past or beating yourself up over the past feeling guilty or you're worried about the future and you're scared and fearful stop time traveling you will have to learn how to ground yourself uh, a lot better this summer okay um and again if you come across challenges this summer do not stop spirit saying don't stop because honestly a lot of you will have to do you'll go through a lot of spiritual stuff okay there's a spiritual transformation you know definitely happening for you this summer and it has to do with your ego the ego death okay as it is um and that shadow side to yourself you are going to be confronting your shadow side this summer now again our shadow is a part of us we can't completely get rid of our shadow we can't get rid of those ugly parts of ourselves that we we try to hide that we don't like that we you know you just don't give light to okay we can't fully you know get rid of it but we do have to acknowledge it to get to our healing and oftentimes acknowledging our shadow side um our fears our worries our toxic traits everybody has them a lot of times that's painful as hell okay that's why the three of swords or nine is here it's painful as hell hell to have that ego death and to face your fears and to acknowledge your shadow um but again the ego you you are standing in your own way so in order to meet or overcome any obstacles you encounter this summer you have to do the work within yourself and you have to face your shadow side your shadow side is what's standing in the way of you know those challenges so i'm not saying not to say that the challenges will be inner um they're going to be really real. They'll be, they'll be really practical challenges, like practical real world, material world challenges. However, to face those real world challenges, you have to uh, uh, battle within to face these challenges without. Because once you're good within, you know, nothing without can harm you. Okay. That's a, a beautiful African uh, proverb. If there is no enemy within, the enemy without can do no harm. So that's what it's about. So yeah, they're going to be real world problems, but they will require spiritual work to overcome. And with the serendipity in reverse, it's like um, it's like you're you're kind of like feeling sorry for yourself. I don't mean to really go in like this, guys. I do have some positive things coming up, and I'll pull a love card. And by the way, this is my pile, so I'm getting on myself as well. But yeah, this is like, woe is me. Like, this wasn't supposed to happen. Like, I feel like you have this ideal version of how you want your summer to turn out. And you may see some positive synchronicities, you know, in the beginning, like, oh my gosh, it's about to happen. And then it may not pan out or it may not lead to anything. Um, so 
it's like you this is a feeling of your your hopes being dashed you're like okay this is not how I planned my summer to go uh kind of energy and enough of that like things happen for a reason if your plans were dashed um that trip fell through or that romance fell through it was for a reason take the lesson out of it and sometimes you're being protected okay you know the whole saying blessings in disguise that's they're gonna they're gonna be a lot of those okay blessings in disguises so you need to just try your best to roll with the punches i'm seeing health is a, a big factor here watch your mental and spiritual health okay i don't want you to like lead into you know depression or anxiety with your your uh overthinking or negative outlook okay positive outlook as best you can this summer and with the little ghost here i'm seeing some exes trying to pop back up into your love life i will pull some um love oracle cards but the little ghost here is like exes trying to like come up in your life cut them off okay don't hesitate to be ruthless when it comes to love okay especially if you're single because it's like um queen of swords upright she has no problem using her little samurai sword cutting people off she doesn't need to contemplate she just knows okay she makes wise decisions you it's like you're hesitating i don't know like uh, should i cut them off like what if they're sincere you know listen it's your life do do what you gotta do but i think um the message here is sometimes you got to be a little bit savage and you got to let people know that they don't have space you don't have space for them in your life and they don't deserve space in your life and you got to be sometimes solo dolo or just sometimes ruthless and say how you feel and be blunt and say no this is not enough for me this is not working out okay that may be what you that could be a possibility for you i'm also seeing here seeing two things two of wands definitely traveling some of you could be going to london this summer surfing somewhere in hawaii so the, i see uh what's this either africa or south america um definitely travel like a couple trips like two two to five trips at least this summer for you like you're you're about traveling you're trying to you know stack up some um stamps on your passport okay i'm not mad at it so i do see travel is a big focus for you and i'm also seeing your life's direction you're like coming to a juncture in your life you're like not sure what you want to do like you may be considering switching jobs or switching um majors in school if you're in college or you know you guys are entering college or entering high school you're not sure what you want to major in or something like that or you guys are in your career and you want to do a completely different career and make a career change and you're like i'm not sure but there's a contemplation about the future making plans and then that's how that queen of swords comes in like huh, i don't know i'm not sure what to do with my life do i want to continue doing this for the rest of my life or do i want to do go do something else i want to go in a different direction what to do i do get this sense of um boredom or dissatisfaction with your life's current direction or, or purpose and it's like you want something more in line with what you want something more exciting as well something yeah, you could be a little bored you <laughs> said something more exciting and you know you could be contemplating or putting things into motion this could be like you deciding okay you know what i do want a different career i need to go back to school to get this certification or you could say okay i need to move to this place and you may be putting you know getting plans together to you know move somewhere but you're making plans about the the trajectory of your life and what direction to go in but let's see what else with love let me pull some love on the record oracle cards again these are all songs so you can look look up the answers the songs so uh i think resentment wanted to come out resentment by beyonce you know what listen if you gotta tell no i didn't mean to do all that there's so many cards if you gotta tell people to go let me take that exclusive okay some of you could be entering in a commitment okay um stay some of you could just be really wanting commitment like this um this summer a lot of you in my single people you can feel like you're in a love drought right now 
uh, or you'll feel like that this summer and you just you're yearning for something exclusive and committed um, but again don't let your your needs or your want for love make you settle for something codependent and something that's not healthy for you okay remember use that sword to cut off people if you need to be that that savage all right um get one more card okay resentment again okay yeah if somebody's making you feel like resentment by beyonce that is a song that nobody ever should want to feel or should feel like then you need to cut it off this summer okay that's all i got to say but pal two that is your reading i wish you the best of luck thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments if it resonates with you until next time bye bye Hey, hey, pile number three, you are in the right place. You chose this beautiful red stone and you chose a time for healing, balsamic moon. So like the card says, this summer is about healing, doing inner work, letting go of the past, coming to terms with the past, moving forward, because spirit does have big things for you. I feel like more so in the fall and winter, fall definitely, uh, but the some things have to be put in place you have to be in the right mind state and the right uh the right energy and before that you know before whatever is coming for you can come you've got to be more healed so healing is the focus this summer um so oftentimes it's not the most fun kind of thing because a lot of healing when there's a lot of healing needed, that could mean things are like, you know, kind of quiet or not as active. So if you were expecting like a super fun party all night, travel everywhere this summer, you know, it, it may not be as uh, active as that. But I feel like more so in the fall is when things are going to like pop off and be more lively. But you've got some healing to do, Powell 3. <laughs> Let's see your other cards. Oh, given to passion. Oh, I love this card. It's a beautiful card. It's so colorful. Two of Wands. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. In the reverse. The Fool. Nice, nice. And Eight of Swords. Makes sense. Um, okay. So we also have wait okay like that's just what i said wait because you got some healing to do all right um two of coins a lot to juggle or handle um, deja vu a leg up 34 and you also have furro or furro farkzad rebellion I know I said that wrong. So give me a second to pull your cards together and get the message. These energies are relaying. All right, pile three, a lot of positive, powerful messages. So I want to talk about this deja vu. So deja vu, of course, is that feeling that you've seen something or you've experienced something before, like the past is repeating itself. This deja vu is what is sparing or telling you healing is needed if you find yourself in the same situations over and over whether that's pertaining to love or any other area of your life you find yourself in the same kind of jobs in the same kind of friendships um it's because you haven't truly let go of the past you haven't truly dealt with the past and acknowledged it and healed from it so spirit is like i need you to stop repeating the same lessons you know what spirit sends you the same kind of situation um actually the same lesson packaged in a different situation or different circumstance because you didn't learn the first time so spirit sends it to you over and over until you get it until you get it and it's like now this summer you're beginning to realize oh wait a minute wait a minute like this is just so familiar you might question like why do I continue to find myself right back here 
I'm I'm always right back here. Like, how do I get out of this cycle? How do I do it? And again, that has to deal with that healing from the past. And spirit is also saying you need to ask for help. You need to ask for help from family or friends to break this cycle, these negative patterns or this past repeating itself. Okay, Um, you need help and it's okay. It's okay to ask for help. But, you know, a leg up. However, this is you. Here we go. You can see this woman. She has built literally a wall around herself. You have this wall around yourself and you're not letting people in or you're not reaching out for help. And Spirit is like, ask for help. You can ask Spirit. You can pray. You can ask actual people in your life. You can get a counselor or a mentor or somebody just older. You're even your parents, whoever. Just ask for help because what happens is other people can see things you can't see okay other people can even see your situation clearly than you can see because you're in it it's like you're in a maze and people can see over top the maze and they can see you know clearly that's why even some people who are in bad or negative situations they still can give good advice is because they can't see their own stuff but they can see other people's stuff right so It's about time to um, ask for help or seek some type of help breaking these patterns. Unless you want the same thing over and over again, honey. Um, And then spirit is like, yeah, like you, you want, you want more. You want something new in life. But spirit is saying, wait, wait. Again, you've got to deal with this first. You have to learn your lesson. You have to heal and you have to let go before what you want can come in if you can see in this car this two of coins he is on a unicycle balancing okay and there's a literal tidal wave in the background this huge tidal wave and he's just like happy hunky dory he has built a circle a protective circle around him he's like i hope that's enough but that's what spirit is like listen there's a tidal wave coming okay and i want you to be prepared but you if you go into it now you're not gonna be able to handle it he or spirit is like getting you ready preparing you to face to conquer anything however um you won't be able to balance it all if you rush in too soon or if you try to do it now 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 okay and honestly you know waves or just any body of water represents our emotions so you could feel just very emotionally overwhelmed and spirit is like you need to learn how to balance your emotions because it's like healing is necessary so you don't repeat the same thing now with the given to passion i see that you want some more spice in your life you want some fire some passion so you i could see you in like starting a new hobby like something creative like music or you know creative arts uh gardening you might get a pet or something a pet lizard or salamander or whatnot so like it's just you want some spark it's like you're like bored um and two of wands your life's direction making um making a choice uh making plans for the future and you can see here we have this uh they have two sparks but one is dark and one is you know red it's like you want that red passionate spark and you just want something to heat up in your life and it's like you know you need to make a change but you're not quite sure how you want to do something that's more in line with your passions or your hobbies or something that you truly enjoy um so that could mean some of you are thinking about again getting a new job or going back to school for something or starting a business or starting something hot starting a youtube channel okay or going after your career uh your music venture you know you, you want to do something that's more in line with your passions um but there's some hesitancy you you haven't been planning or working towards it you can't just jump in you got to have a plan so make sure you you know spend time this summer making putting things into place laying the foundation uh for plans about you know moving forward into new passionate having more passionate just more fun life now with the full 
Eight of Swords, powerful combination. So full, of course, is about taking a leap of faith, starting something new. Yeah, you're just ready. You want something new. You want to start off on the venture. You want to do something kind of risque, kind of bold. But you're like, you're scared. You're like, oh, wait, I don't want to move to that new city. You know, what if it, you know, doesn't pan out? What if it doesn't happen? What if I run out of money? Uh, or I can't do that. I can't quit my job because I need to do this, this, and that. Or I can't. I just, you're just saying, I can't. I can't do that. Uh, yes, you can. Only person holding yourself back is you. You can see she's looking in the mirror. Yeah, look in the mirror, okay? Because you're holding yourself back. And a lot of the reasons why you're holding yourself back is because you're still, you're still hung up on the past. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I know I'm going in pile three, you know. Eh. But, yeah, it's like you are standing in your own way. You're not seeing clearly. Again, she has a blindfold on. You're not seeing clearly. You're allowing your negative thoughts, negative thoughts, stuff that doesn't make sense. Like those thought distortions are just overpowering you. You're standing in your own way. And, again, the key to, like, breaking through those self-imposed chains or those self-imposed limitations, healing, heal, heal, heal. Because, um, again, like, when you finally go for that dream and you finally change your life and you're happier and you're feeling more fulfilled and you have a more self-actualized life, when you finally go back, you know, achieve that, you're going to look back and you're going to say, oh, wait a minute, I could have did this all along. I could have done this all along. Why didn't I go for it sooner? And it was because you had to do this inner work that you're going to be embarking on this summer. Um, but you got it. I do have a love message. Uh, deja vu again. You could find yourself in the same, the same toxic relationships, the same relationship patterns. You may, you know, just date the same kind of man, or maybe your your connections only end, always end in every, you know, in a month. It's like a pattern in your love life. Again, that has a key to the past. So, again, if you want to break free from those patterns, ask for help, do the work. Um, I also have another, pull some love oracle cards, love one directed cards. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what comes out. The beginning, new renewness renewal starting over so yes you want to start over like from scratch from when a fresh new beginning in love you don't want to keep doing the same thing um so and this also means you guys could be starting something new and you're like i don't want to mess this up i don't want to do the things i don't want to end like it ended before like my relationships usually end Moving on, walking away, changes, ending. Yes. So I do feel like you are going to ultimately be able to move on from your past and not let it, you know, block new beginnings and falling. Oh, you guys, falling in love hard, okay? So it's in love, honeymoon period, infatuation. Definitely, you know, you're, I see a summer romance for sure. Um, and again, you are allowing this romance to come in because you are making peace with your past. And also, these are all songs that you can listen to for more insight. Look up the beginning, moving on, falling um, for more insight. And that is your reading, Pile 3. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And leave a comment below if it resonates with you. I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, pile number four, you are in the right place. You chose the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini with this lovely blue stone. So this car is pretty much what it says it's about. So you will be getting a lot more clarity um, this summer. I see like some type of communication coming in. This could be a job offer, a romantic relationship. There could be a particular relationship, romantic or otherwise, that needs, you know, some mending. And you guys will finally have that conversation, be able to heal and come back together. Um, yeah, there's just something you don't know. You can see she has her eyes closed. There's something you don't know, 
but the answers are coming um you will get that communication like words have to be said and words will be said this summer <laughs> so let's see what your other cards have to say we have joy and delight that came out reverse joy and delight got a wine picnic okay all right we also have the moon very interesting moon that's a lot about uncertainty like the answers you need are coming so ace of cups okay in reverse and then we have five of wands all right we also have within the next few months so that makes sense because summer is the next few months you could get some clarity for those answers you need bishop ch mason which is the hierophant i believe five and soulmate recognition came out a brain stain down yin and then emily bront fantasy upside down reverse as well all right, I'm going to pull your messages together. I'll be right back. All right, pile four. Here's where I'm getting what I'm getting. I get the sense that you feel like the life and the joy has been sapped out of your life. Or you're deeply unhappy about some aspect of your life or just life in general. And you are trying to recapture joy and delight. That could be part of what those answers are like. Okay, how do I get back to happy? And you're wondering how do you, you know, heal and, you know, find happiness again. Uh, you do want to go out and have summer plans and have a hot girl, hot boy summer and have fun. But it's like you just don't know how to do that. And you're just, it seems like you're in a confused state. But the boom, the moon is confusion. Um, again, there's missing information. You're confused emotionally. Again, those answers are coming, and they're coming within the next few months. Some clarity is coming, okay? Um, in the meantime, you got to just uh, kind of go with the flow. Trust in spirit. Trust in the divine. Trust in the plan that spirit has for your life. Um, and do... With the Hierophant here or Bishop C.H. Mason, you want to stick with the status quo. I don't I don't like that as a general bit of advice. But what I mean is don't do anything reckless or, you know, you want to just remain. I see this as being patient um, and trusting in the system, not the political system in your country. The system, spirit system, that's a system you can trust. The system of manifestation, the system of believing and manifesting and getting what you want. Uh, believe in your power, spirit's power, your your um, your angels, your spirit guides. Believe in spirit, okay? Basically, have faith. Have faith that clarity is on its way, okay? So trust that. Spirit is calling you calling on you to, to trust and have faith okay um you may not understand now but you will be able to understand eventually within the next few months okay so just trust trust it have faith now i am getting a love message or at least a uh some type of relationship whether it's romantic platonic a family member friend uh, it seems as though what's crazy is we have the Ace of Cups reverse, and you can see she has like a pink cup, right? But in reverse, is like it's falling, like it's falling out. Her energy, her cup is, is just emptying out. And we also have the Yin, which is also about receptivity, just like the Ace of Cups. Also in reverse, there's also a base in the bowl, and there's also water that's apparently falling out. In order to receive, your cup has to be sitting up in the correct direction, has to be upward and 
facing to receive the intuition to receive those messages those synchronicities that are being sent to you for you to recognize that you have to be open and honest but now um open emotionally and spiritually but now it's like blocked you're blocked emotionally it's like you are repressing your emotions in some way you're fighting your emotions and that's no bueno it's not good um yeah it's, there's an element of internal warfare and warfare internal battle when it comes to your emotions and being receptive it's like you you just it's like you're rejecting your love or you're rejecting help and you don't want to receive love so some of you what this means what this looks like practically some of you are in a connection right now or you are entering will be entering a soulmate connection and part of you is rejecting it saying oh this is not going to last or oh um he doesn't really love me or she doesn't really love me or this won't work out like it's like somebody's trying to pour pour love and it's like all the love they give goes unnoticed it's just floating in the air um or it's missing your cup because your cup is turned down it's not open so you gotta work on that you gotta work on not not being a robot not repressing your emotions i'm talking about you scorpio uh capricorn i know that tends to do that aquarius like don't run from your emotions they're not bad and you gotta focus on receiving receiving also many of you uh just are in like la la land <laughs> It's like you're hiding within yourself, like you're in your own world, and you got to come back down to reality. Um, yeah, I see you fighting with what is. It's like you want, you want it to look like, you want life to look like how you have in your head or how you're picturing, and that's just, that's just the world of fantasy you've created, and it's like, that's not that's not what's going on that's not what's happening practically in the material realm and you can get what you want you can manifest what you want it's just you can't do that if you cut off your emotions if you cut off your intuition okay if you cut off your spiritual side so you definitely got to get more intact in yeah in intact or in connection with your spiritual intuitive side with the soulmate recognition so yeah i feel like there's some very very important relationship like somebody who is a soulmate and it's like i feel like a lot of you are fearful like a lot of you you realize oh okay this person may be the one they may be this could be my soulmate this like you guys are scared you're scared to receive this love this connection it's like you don't believe it you're not hopeful you're hopeless uh and you're like this is just too good to be true it's going to end um and it's just like you may feel like oh it's a fantasy like this is not real this is not real um it's real it's very real okay it's the real deal so like there's a divine partner for a great number of you divine partner and i need you to work on you know what you need to work on within to be able to receive this love like you might have to go into that shadow side or into those you know i always say those those traumas those wounds those hurts uh because you are standing in the way of your own joy and delight like don't you want those picnics and the wine and you know the cartwheels don't you want that passion back in your life um but then this may take you know time to work through like months to work through um this summer but um and you got it you can do it let me draw some love on the record oracle cards now these all correspond to a song so let's see what else is coming for your love life let's see I like this one case of the x the past someone returning reckoning so this someone this could be someone you've known from a past life but this could be an x of sorts and you can listen to case of the x that song for more insight i'll take oh gosh okay i'll take i'll take three i'll take three it says seduction okay so listen to seduction i think that's by usher 
that's a really sexy song sensuality attraction lust so okay the you know the intimate side of your life looks looks popping this summer my apology remorse forgiveness olive branch so somebody could be coming back some ex could be coming back this summer yeah um and this could this could mean why it's in reverse that you may be separated from your soulmate right now um for some of you honestly the energies in this pile are a little confusing just a little bit but you know let me know in the comments pile for if any of this resonates with you again you can expect clarity within the next few months but you got to have faith and you've got to receive it and be open so when spirit sends you those answers finally and those synchronicities finally you'll be able to understand it because you're just so spiritually attuned all right pal for that is your reading give this video a big thumbs up let me know in the comments if it resonates with you and i'll see you at the next one and bye bye